Good morning, welcome to sunny Yorkshire. Today we're here at Flamingo Land, not only to check out their brand new coaster, but just to check out the park. We haven't been probably around 20 years since we were on a kids holiday to Scarborough. Yeah. So pretty much everything here is new to us today. My name's Matt, this is Hayley, she's back for this I'm vlog. <laughs> Here's what's coming up in today's vlog. There are some nice little photo opportunities, nice entrance sign here. So hey, the name, I don't like the logo when you see it, when I've seen it on social media, but it's not so bad in real life. At least that doesn't look like it's been hand drawn. Hayley hasn't been on the channel for a while. Do you want to <laughs> tell everyone where you've been? I went to Roller World about 10, 12 weeks ago and busted my ribs, but it was for a good cause because the little child that went down in front of me, I would have killed him if I would have followed him. So. Took one for the team, hit the metal bar with my ribs, and yeah, haven't been anywhere since. And that was literally the day after we got back from Port Aventura. So, um, I'm not glad it happened, but I'm glad it happened after Port Aventura, because <laughs> if it would have happened <laughs> yeah, before, that would have been really frustrating. So this is uh, Haley's first time back in a theme park since the rib incident. So hopefully that'll um, hold out. So yeah, first of all, we're gonna go on six. So this is the newest roller coaster in the UK. It's uh, manufactured by Intamin and it's pretty much a straight copy of Colossus at Thorpe Park. So if you know Thorpe Park, you know Colossus, it's been there for 20 odd years, uh, 20 years this year actually. It's got 10 inversions and at the time of opening that was, that held the world record which has since been taken by the Smiler at Arwen Towers. So this coast of Flamingo Land actually brought second hand. Um, I don't think it's ever actually been built before. Um, it's just laying pieces in a field somewhere somewhere else in the world um, and it's taken them it doesn't look rusty it looks really good um, so yeah they it's taken them a while to open it I think they've really struggled through Covid and um, obviously it's not cheap to build a new coaster but it is looking it's not like highly themed or anything but what they've done is really nice so we're just about to walk into the queue line so I'm going to turn you around and let you see what we see so first of all the coasters are like literally against the entrance of the park. The paint job on it is really nice, it's like a really metallic silver rather than a dull grey, so that's cool.
hide in this little tunnel that they've built under the ride um, to protect ourselves from the wind because the camera and the speakers, the microphones even aren't very good with the wind noise, so I hope it's okay. Right, we had two rides. That was, it was really good one. It was amazing. Really smooth, wrecks your hair, ruins your makeup, all worth it, completely worth it. That was really good. And yeah, completely wakes you up in the morning as well. And my ribs so. survived. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. I'm not sure how it'll be after a hero, but we'll see. So yeah, that, it is really, it's a really good coaster. Um, it is very similar to Colossus. Um, there's smoother. quite, it's a lot smoother. You can, it's, it's a newer coaster, isn't it? So it's going to be smoother. Um, the lift hill is different. So it's a cable system on the lift hill instead of a um, standard chain. So you got that lift hill really fast, Rapid, don't you? Yeah. And then when it's you get, good people like you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it is. It doesn't even feel that high because you're so fast. And then the drop is profiled completely different to Colossus as well. So you're straight over the top, straight down, and then into quite a sharp bank turn before the first loop, um, which feels quite intense compared to Colossus. Because on Colossus, you kind of go around the top and then drop after you've done the corner. So that was really nice. You've got tunnels with um, like smoke steam effects in. Actually, I come off soaking. Like my, I was, yeah, my arms were wet, yeah. my face was wet. Uh, but yeah, really waking me up this morning. And if you've not got your head right on that first tunnel, you're literally like this. Yeah, we were. And so on to get back the up. first go round, because the lap bars are obviously not restricting your upper body. Like we went, we went over the first <laughs> I got time hill <laughs> and into the first tunnel, and it, it wasn't even that fast or intense, and I didn't get much air time because it was like the second train of the day, the first go. But um, yeah, I look. I, I was like the forces did force me down. <laughs> like I was like this on the train. And I looked over and Hayley was exactly the same. So although it didn't feel forceful, it was obviously doing something to us. So yeah, it was good fun. What did you give it out of 10? A solid seven and a half. I think for a park like Flamingoland, there is really quite a small park. It's family run. Um, they've had a tough few years. At least they've gone, they've got a sponsor for the ride. I'm not loving the name. I don't know why, they could have just called it Silk. And like, they could have been like, Silk, the sick new coaster or something. I don't know why they've called it Sick. I don't get it. Maybe it's bad but, luck to rename it. If it's already been named, like ships, boats and stuff, can't rename it. Unless it's national. No, well this is the brand new name for them. They've chosen this. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's going round. Um, that corrected? So yeah, I like that. It's not like world class. Um, there's nothing massively special about it. It's just a really, really good coaster. And it's coming right now. I thought the station was going to be themed to a nightclub. I felt it felt a bit more like a festival. There's more festival vibes than nightclub vibes. Um, but the best thing about that coast is the fact that it's got lap bars. I, if you've watched all of my like Port Aventura um, vlogs and stuff, you'll know I love a lap bar. Because I'm so tall, when I've got over shoulder restraints, literally the space between, or like, how do I say it? Like my, my upper body, <laughs> the space between my crotch and my shoulders always pretty much fills an over shoulder restraint. Sometimes I'm literally like, have to hunch over to fit in. So the fact that you've got all that freedom with a lap bar is amazing. The trains are as tight as the Colossus trains. They're not as hard to get into because you haven't got all the overhead restraints, but they were still quite tight, weren't they? Like my, my knees were wrapped around the seat in front. But um, yeah, it was all good. It was a really, really good ride. And it's, it's like the first, first couple of trains of the day as well. So. If that thing's going to speed up throughout the day, it's going to be amazing later on. Right, where are we going? Hair's on it at the moment. I've just asked what time it's opening, but apparently they're doing the best. Oh, we're talking about, what's that called? Velocity. Velocity, yeah. So New Rovers have done a ride like Velocity before, so we're going to get on that later. They're just doing some repair work. So hopefully that'll be open. Um, this park is so different to the last time we come. I don't remember anything. It's, yeah, it's, it's totally changed. I don't think any of the coasters we're here last time I came. Um, so last time I came, the only one I really remember was, I think it was called the Bullet. Um, it was like a, um, a boomerang coaster. It was all like tire driven. And I remember it going over for a couple of hours a day because it was so noisy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I remember and that's definitely not here. And neither are any of the other rides. So we're just gonna go for a little explore, see what's going on. We, uh, I think we timed sick right because this seems like coach loads of uh, school kids have just arrived and getting in the queue for that so we're walking away from that and going to um, explore the rest of the park so we also just want to say a massive shout out to penny so penny has let us know that not only is she subscribed to the channel but she's also watched every single video 
and likes every single video. So thanks very much, Penny. And if you want to be like Penny, why not hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more theme park and general tourist attraction day out here on the Coaster Giant channel. Okay, so next up, I've wanted to get on this ride for absolutely ages. This is Mumbo Jumbo. It's got an insane drop on it. Again, it's got weird lap bar and little shoulder restraints. It doesn't look massively intense, but it looks really quirky with the way that the track's profiled on these corners. This is going to be an interesting one. Hey, Mumbo Jumbo done. What did you think about that? I liked it a lot. I, the man, I might have sworn at the man that did the restraints because he pushed on a little bit too hard on my shoulders. No. But no, I liked it. It was very open. It reminded me of like when we were younger and there's a cat and mouse and on the corner said quick and that sort of thing. So I liked it. Very open. Very. Just, yeah, just not long enough. Not long yeah, enough for me. quite short. Noticed on both of the coasters we've been on, they are really pinning you in on them. Like I could not move on that. Um, yeah, and it was it was it was very short. It was a unique experience, I suppose. Um, lots, it's very slow and floaty, and lots of uh, hang time. Um, not exactly. I wouldn't say it was like a, a thrill coaster, would you? No. Just like a, a nice ride. I don't, More of a breaking, I don't know how to explain it. Breaking the family in gently into roller coasters ride. I'd yeah, say. yeah. It's I've. Been wanting to go on that for a long time and probably had overhyped it a bit. The... First drop is good and the hang time when you're upside down for quite a long time, that's good. Um, and the restraints are very interesting. That would be better again with just the lap bar. I don't see the need for the little bits over your shoulder. Right now, we're heading on to this thing. So these coasters are manufactured by Vacoma. They're um, suspended looping coasters and they have a very bad reputation of being rough. But from what I've heard about this one, it's not too bad. Um, it's got an interesting layout. It's not um, a standard layout like Infusion at Blackpool, for example. Um, it looks quite high. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get on. Let's check out what we think of Kamali. I think it was smooth compared to the thing I really hate about the shoulder restraints on there is they, they come down over your shoulder so there's no way you could put your arms up if you wanted to um, so yeah I was really clamped in on that and then they pushed it the restraint down even further so I was literally like really crammed in um, but I thought the ride was smooth but maybe that's because I couldn't move anywhere and my head was out of the restraint so I couldn't get battered about um, but I thought that was for an SLC, that's, that's a, a pretty good ride. It's got a really slow lift hill. Um, we've got a back row ride, so it's quite whippy. Um, yeah, the lift hill's really slow, but that just builds up the tension because it is quite high when you look up there. Um, but yeah, it's a good solid coaster again. Just, it's just good. It's a good coaster. So there is a nice little splash area here. This must be really good when the sun's out and hot. So you've got this little play area, nice soft floor, loads of fountains everywhere. And then off to the side of it, you've got their splash battle. I should have researched what this is called. Oh, it's called splash battle. <laughs> so a bit of a different one, this one. The track is standing above the water. The main problem I see with this 
is there's only one train going around the track. So it's not much of a battle. So, whilst there might not be much interaction with the other boats, all of the water guns around the side are actually free. So you can join in without even going on. We've got this nicely themed little aeroplane airport area. Cool little kids coaster. They've got loads of little kiddie coasters here. It's a little mine train. I think I'm a little bit too big for that one. And the classic dinosaur coaster. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to get on. So, it's a bit of a strange one this park, because I'd kind of say it's like more of an amusement park, more of a Blackpool Pleasure Beach type vibe where most of the rides are kind of themed but nothing heavy. Well they have got this dinosaur area of the park which is probably the best themed in terms of immersing you in an area. So Hayley really wants to go on this. I honestly, the way that they're swinging when they're up there I don't know if I can do this. I think. I've never ever done a star fly like this. Not yet. I don't think I'm going to do it all day. I'm not telling her that yet though. She can go on her own. So, Hayley is in the queue. Look, all, that, all that's holding you in on this is a little seat. A bar and a little seatbelt. And you're right up there. Yeah, this one is not for me. It's the first time I've sat a ride out for a long time. Do you feel safe? Do you feel safe? I'm sure it's safe. Can, can you hold on? My my heart's pounding already, and I'm not even on it. This thing's massive. Oh, here we go. Oh, it goes up pretty fast. Oh my god. There's not many rides I'm chicken out of, but... This thing is ridiculous, and because it's so windy, like I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but the seats themselves are literally almost doing like 360 turns. Oh my god, it. She's. Oh my god, it's flying all over the place. I don't even know if I've got it on camera, but. Oh my god. I don't think I'll ever do one of these. It's so high. What did you what did you think of that? It was pretty horrible. Like couldn't focus on anything because I was spinning that much. With the seat proper, it looked like it was doing like 360 and then back and then yeah, back. That's what it felt like it was doing. Like literally went really dizzy because couldn't focus on one set point. It was just going. Around, around. Was the height it not was, scary? It was okay. No, because I couldn't really see because my hair was <laughs> But no, it was okay. I've done it. Would you do it again? Would you go on it again now? If you wanted to go on it, I would go on it with you. But I would say I'd go out my way to go on it again. I'm not going on it. There's, there's no chance. Man. It's the height. I don't care about... Oh, it's just the height. It's you horrible. It's a nice view of the... Um, Nice Great, I'll walk around the zoo, that'll give me a nice view. Right, next stop, we're going to do another coaster. So this is a little spinning coaster called Twistosaurus. 
And it's got a world record. What's this for? The oldest man rode it. Oldest person to ride a roller coaster. 105 years old. That's mad. Right, let's get. See if we get some spins on this. So yeah, this is just inside the dinosaur area. The buildings are nicely themed. The rides are all kind of painted in. And we're gonna do this. It's time for a workout. That was a nice little flat ride. Basically, it goes round, 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 and the more you cycle, the higher you go. So it's a bit of a shin basher for me. I'm definitely gonna have bruises. And uh, go on, you guys go through. You yeah. can't even get like a good speed up, and then so, when you do hit the top, it's like boom, and then you think it's fun off. The top. Yeah, it's fun. I, yeah, top tip on that is just cycle till you get to the top, stop cycling, you get a bit of a bounce going on. So that was quite good fun. So this is a lot of fun. So you come to Flamingo Land, make sure you get on Twistosaurus. It's good, wasn't it? Both sit on the same side. Last yeah. time we had us two, and then a gap, and then one, and it was still quite good. On the second time round, wasn't it? Yeah. But well, that spinning. proper spinning, wasn't it? it was like literally, like being on a waltz. It was really good. That was. Yeah. If you can, sit in twos and sit to one side. We sat on the right hand side that time. I don't think it would have mattered because those two girls behind us had a space in between and they were spinning yeah, quite true, loud. Yeah. True. True. But yeah, it's a good one. That make sure you don't miss that one. It looks like a little kiddie coaster, but it packs a little punch. Right, let's go over to Flip Flop. Let us down earlier, but I think it's reopened now. So let's go and try that out. It's probably a good one to do before lunch. Definitely, definitely is. Change of plan. We're going to go on this. There's not many people watching. It's time for a ride on Velocity. So this has only just opened, so it's got a fairly big queue. Hopefully it won't take too long. Velocity was a lot of fun. A little bit uncomfortable on the restraints if you're as tall as me. You have to really bend your, you, you kind of squat on it and then it pins you from the back and from the front. And you have to put your legs in a really weird position. And at, like halfway around, I was getting cramp in my leg. And part of me was enjoying it, part of me couldn't wait to get off. It's time to go on Hero. This is the one that I'm really worried about your ribs on. So this ride is a, it's a weird contraption. So basically, you, as you're in the station, you stand up into the train, if you can call it a train or the car, and then as it starts to go round, it puts you into a lying down position. Very strange, I've never been on anything like this before. It's got a really weird lift hill as well. So it just spirals you up there. Here you go, you get in, you climb into it, and then it clamps, clamps you down. This is going to be interesting. That, that's as bad, if not worse, as everybody says. That was... It, it's horrible. All your pressure, pre the, the pressure on your chest yeah. makes it like almost hard to breathe. It's a really uncomfortable position. Like I feel like you're either too tall or too short to be on each step. I'm not going it's not with onions. 
Yeah, and you're putting your chin. You're putting your chin where everyone else has put their chin. Like I'm not normally bothered about gyms, but yeah. And then when you go upside down, you literally fall to the back of the cage, which is just a very pleasant just experience. Like, it was horrible. I, you, you go on some coasters that I hear people say are rough, and like they just don't bother me. But that one, like, did somebody? You would think that someone at the park would have tested that before buying it. Like, did they just buy that without going on it or what? Because no one could say that. I don't think anyone could say that's a good ride. It's, it's just really, really. I'm never. I'm not going on that again. There's not many coasters that I go on and I'm like never again. But that is one of them. I'd rather go on that crocodile coaster again than go on that again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I think the last big ride that we've got to do is cliffhanger. So this is a shot and drop tower. Haven't done one of these since Port Ventura. So we'll see how this one compares to the ones at Ferrari Land. got our ride on flip-flop it's no maelstrom oh it's a bit windy around here it's no maelstrom um, we've got a few little pops of air time when you're up at the top um, but nothing special it was quite a long cycle though so that was good um, and then we went on navigator the disco that we was no yeah no like it was all right for a disco wasn't it It didn't right quite meet it meet the top of the track but um, it's like the brakes are just not working on it and we probably waited for about what four minutes for it to rocking. roll just yeah. rocking backwards and forwards waiting for it to stop right we're gonna go on velocity again now because sick has gone down it's been down for quite a while so we're gonna get on this and then we're gonna go and check out the zoo behind all of the rides you've got the zoo we've now found the entrance to uh, there's some I can see some drafts they've got some pretty big animals let's have a wander around and see what we can find so inside the aquarium, obviously loads of tanks, loads of fish, and then you've got some little windows here that I believe look into the sea lion tank. So that'd be cool. pretty cool if they were uh, diving in. The first thing I notice about this zoo is all the animals have got massive enclosures. I haven't actually seen any animals yet, but this is the tiger enclosure, and this is just one half. It goes all the way down there as well. Yeah, it's massive, loads of trees and stuff in there. I think it's good for the animals. You've got the train that's just coming around. That runs all the way through the zoo by the looks of it. And all the way back through to the park. Right, let's see if we can spot any other animals. Found some camels. So, just work my way around to the other side of this enclosure and you can see the tiger there. So we're just at the top end of the zoo. And there's a separate little monorail that runs around up here as well. So don't miss that when you come up. And what have we got here? We've got some geese, we've got some monkeys. I haven't seen any flamingos yet. I feel like that should be the first thing that you come to in the zoo at Flamingo Land. Loads of geese. And again, quite a nice big space. What have we got over here? Meerkats. Hey, smile. We've made friends. Keep coming. Train the meerkats. Spin, spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he doesn't want to. He's not a performing monkey. See you later, mate. Not doing much. They've got like a little wallaby walk through. Oh, there's one. Oh my god, they're like. Oh. They're quite cute. Are they can hop over this fence? It's like a little walkway all around. 
They obviously do come on this side of the fence. Yeah. He's a big one, isn't he? I don't know if we're just being really amateur because we've never been before. The zoo, the zoo's amazing. Like the, all the like pens and everything. Um, they're really good, really big. I and mean, there's not loads of animals in them, so they've got loads of room to move around. But it just feels a bit disjointed in terms of where we're supposed to be walking and what we're supposed to be doing. Maybe we should have got um, a map or something to help us get around. But um, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Looks like we've got a fairly new little baby rhino. It's actually like Flamingo Land's in a really picturesque setting. Like it's just surrounded by nothing, like hills and trees. So oh nice, no one's going to bother these guys, they've got no neighbours. Got some nice kangaroos just chilling down there. Hey. Up here, punk. <laughs> so like, just so you can see, like these kangaroos and wallabies have got this whole paddock. It's massive. It's good to see though, isn't it? There's loads of different animals in this enclosure. I like it when zoos can like mix loads of stuff because they've got loads of space. And straight off that field, you've got all the penguins. Again, massive pool. Big viewing area with loads of information on the walls. He is not happy. This is cool, wasn't expecting any of this. As you come down off this high walkway, that's really old mansion house. Nice little carousel off to the side. Kids play area. And it looks like there's some more rides up at this top end. You've got Muddy Duck Farm. Say that carefully. And then I can see like a tractor ride through here. Oh, that's some tur turkeys. And yeah, you got a tracked, tracked tractor ride. They're big guinea pigs, aren't they? Yeah. Even the guinea pigs have got loads of space. Look at the size of that. There's another little walk through here for the lemurs. I think it's feeding time because they've all just followed the keeper into their house. It's like they do a big bird show too, on at one o'clock and three o'clock. We've got loads of peacocks just wandering around as well. Oh my god. It's a pretty impressive thing, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Showing off. So we're back over the other side of the zoo now, which is kind of the bit behind the rides. So you've got more rhinos over here. I think that they're white rhinos and the others were black rhinos. You've got a zebra, you've got some giraffes, I don't know if you can see them just poking the head out of their big massive house over there. And we're working our way towards this water ride. I'm not sure, I don't know if it's called the Lost River or something like that. Um, which is quite nice because it looks like it meanders through all the zoo and past all the animals, but it's got a massive drop on it as well. So I might be getting my uh, waterproofs out for this one. This is a nice little touch, you can get in the jeep. It pokes through into, I think this is, oh yeah, cheetahs. So every time we get the camera out, it gets windy. You've got loads more giraffes over here as well, so they're in two different sections. So they look like baby ones as well. Okay, so, changed our mind already. We've just seen how wet people are coming off that Lost River ride. Water ride? I don't know what it's called. Lost River? Yeah, anyway. We've seen how wet people are coming off that, and bearing in mind I've got like a two and a half hour drive home. Don't really want to get soaking. But we've just noticed that Sick looks like it's reopened. It's four o'clock, it's nearly four o'clock here, and we've, uh, the park's open uh, from 10 in the morning till five o'clock at night tonight. It is a Monday. It's not quite school holidays yet and the crowd levels have been pretty decent. Right, we've got an hour left. We're gonna put the camera away for a bit and we'll catch up with you when we've had a few re-rides.
It's the end of our day here in Yorkshire at Flamingo Land. Um, do you know what? It's a really nice park. It's really clean, really tidy. Everything seems quite well maintained, doesn't it? Yeah. I think from a theming point of view, I think I've said this already, it's not really immersive as a theme park. There's some really nice bits of theming around, but um, I think they kind of struggle to bring all of the little areas together. You can see they're trying, but it's not 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 next level it's just like it's just nice i think the words of the day are like nice and good like all the rides are good there's not really any showstoppers is there i think i think no. the addition of sick is takes it to the next level it's a really good like really really good family park um and i definitely recommend coming up here and i think now that they've got sick it just takes it to that a next level that like I would want to come back probably not like next weekend but no maybe you, once yeah, a year or something come back, yeah once a year maybe but we've just been on sick like three times in the space of 10 minutes so yeah it, it's been down quite a lot this afternoon so we were lucky to get back on it um, and the thing that's good about it is you exit where you where the queue line starts so you can just lap it really easily so yeah we just did three rows back to, uh, three rides back to back and the first of the three was on the front row yeah it's more Which like, yeah, it's really good on the front because you, you, you go straight over the top of the lift hill and it, it's just non-stop. It's more like a water coaster as well. You get through them two tunnels and then mist it at the end as you go back into the station. We were soaked, weren't we? Yeah. And we nearly, uh, well, you nearly got a pigeon to the face as well. Well, yeah. And it's the, the closest I've ever seen. Me. The man laughed at me anyway because he was like, is this your first time on or the first time on the front? And I was like, oh, we've been on before, but it's like, you might get a bit wet and laughing. I was like, all right, but yeah, we did nearly take a pigeon to the chops, which it was close. I think it, was it would close. have put me off going on a roller coaster ever again if it would have happened. But I swear, I felt its wing touch my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think overall, the park, the operations in the park were kind of different on every ride. So they were really good on sick. I think there was four or five members of staff on that every time we went on it. Um, velocity was really good again they were like getting the people into the um, air gates ready for the next ride but then you go over to Kamali and they're not even loading the air gates so they're waiting for it to come in waiting for it to empty and then putting people on and then that was a bit chaotic wasn't it because people were going to the wrong rows and all yeah. sorts so a bit different depending on what ride you were on but not bad we haven't waited more than like 10 15 minutes 15 at minutes. the most so it, it's been a really good day really enjoyable I think for the park I'd it, I feel like it's just missing something. I don't know what it is. There isn't much audio anywhere. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just it feels like there's just, for me, there's something missing that's stopping me from saying, oh my God, it's been an amazing day. So pricing wise for today, if you turn up on the day, I think it's £49.50 um, for an adult ticket. We booked online a couple of days. It's expensive, isn't it? I mean, there is a, there's a massive zoo though. You think you'd pay like 25 quid to get in a zoo. There's not that many animals though. It's big, but there's not a lot of animals. Oh, I think there's more. I just don't there think there's more. There isn't. We just didn't see them. for everything. We didn't see them all. We we didn't even stop some. Um, <laughs> but we booked online. It was um, it's a weekday, so it's a Monday. Um, it was thirty seven pound fifty each, which I don't think is too bad for what's on offer here. There's a lot. There is a lot to do, and we've easily filled a day, haven't we? Oh yeah. And um, we did drive up last night. We stayed in a Premier Inn in Pickering. We just didn't want the hassle of getting up here and the, the stress of getting up here in time for opening because um, it's like a two hour, 20 minute drive. So we stayed in a Premier Inn in Pickering, which is about five or 10 minutes away. Um, and it was only, well I say only, it was 70 quid, so 35 pound each. Um, and we only booked it last week. So I don't think that's too bad because, well 35 pound each is not bad. Just save the stress. It was a night away as well. So it's yeah. Not so it's all good, so I'd highly recommend that if you're coming up here or if you're driving up in the morning, why not stay over and then come back another day. After. We were saying like, because they've got like loads of caravan sites and stuff around here, it'd actually be really good if you come with like a big group of you and just had a bit of like, a bit of a party weekend. <laughs> so a few drinks at night, a few rides in the day, no rush for anything. Because I feel like the zoo's so big, there's definitely things we didn't see and we definitely rushed through bits of that, didn't we? Yeah. So, so yeah, it would have been nice to take our time with that a little bit more. I feel like I think it's about two hours, 20 minutes to get here with no traffic, similar to what it would be for us to get to Thorpe Park. And if I had the choice, I'd go to Thorpe Park, but that's because they've just got more coasters and more thrills. But I think with this, with Sick, I hate saying it, hate saying that name, but with Sick, it's, it, it's a good addition. And I think they should do well out of it. I hope people do come and visit because they're obviously trying really hard. 
Um, and yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised and impressed with how nice and clean and friendly the park was. I was just gutted about Hero because I really thought that was going to be a good did, ride. Did we even mention you get any hair stuck in the harness? No, we didn't know. So she started climbing <laughs> out at the end and she was like still attached to the harness. <laughs> Being That's dragged like, down properly. station. Yeah, the cars, they didn't stop. So, yeah, that was a. Uh, well, I thought that was quite yeah, funny. Yeah, you would find it funny. I pulled the hair out for you, it was fine. Yeah. Right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've uh, enjoyed it. If you've made it to the end of the video, why not give it a like? And I'd be over the moon if you could subscribe to the channel. Um, still quite a new channel. There's about eight other vlogs on there. Um, so, yeah, if you could subscribe, that'd really help me out. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog, and we'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye.